Oh, guys! My excitement has been insane for Revenant because there's a lot of math that is very, very different. I've spent a lot of work on this, and it's really, really interesting. In this video, guys, we are looking at Revenant's abilities. We're looking at some math for him in the in the attack speed, in the crit, in the ability pan, in the basic pan, and then going into some actual gameplay with him with a build that I've kind of theory crafted for him. If this, guys, hopefully you guys are interested in this because holy smokes, it's been a journey. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a hero overview video. I am Silfen. Now, uh, we're going to start off with the numbers just because a new hero, we need to kind of understand what his stuff is. So his basic attack here is 0.8 power scaling, just like Twin Blast. Uh, so it, 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 it's less than other people, meaning attack speed and crit, at least in my, um, at least in what, my, in what I found, is going to be a little, a little bit of an advantage. But attack speed is a little bit different on him so we have to keep that into account. starts at 50 damage very much the lowest of all the carries here and increases one per level uh to, to only 64 definitely the lowest of the carries but he's he attacks the fastest every 0.5 seconds he is shooting you so very very quick and that's what it is it's always 0.5 seconds you can't increase that he's going to always be attacking twice per second or 0.5 seconds per shot now hellfire rounds is right click where you could reload your gun because you can only fire four shots at a time so 0.5 power scaling here uh is really damn good because the bonus damage is on the fourth shot so you get a hundred you get a hundred damage bonus on the fourth shot plus 0.5 of any power that you have equipped so that's going to be quite huge uh if you build him with a lot of power his obliterate ability is where he reveals his face and bleh, death comes from his head and at 1.4 power scaling absolutely insane um because at level 4 360 damage on a 12 second cooldown and a low mana cost ridiculous ridiculous tons of damage there in this ability his scar ability is something that empowers your basic attack so you have five seconds to get bonus damage on three four five six shots here depending on the level of this ability the bonus always remains the same at 25 damage per shot that bonus doesn't change in damage but it does gain power scaling so at 25 per shot you can get 15 percent of any power that you build on revenant added on to that 25 per shot interesting adds it just helps him get a little bit um of damage there so we also move on to his uh, his ultimate uh his ultimate does deal apparently 20 40 and 60 damage very very small you, the, you just use that for that very interesting utility so the rest of him he's a carry really not much to say lots of basic armor just like everybody else everybody else basically the same but his attack speed is really really interesting uh at level one he's zero and at level 15 he has 87 attack speed and that is that only affects his reload speed which is actually his rmb or his hellfire rounds so his hellfire rounds is affected by this you might think that 87 is a lot um, but because it's affected on an ability it's it has a it has a small effect kind of trust me on 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 that one is very interesting so it kind of it gets you gain a lot you gain 12 in in in, in the first in the first bit and then it really kind of tapers off uh once 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 you pass level seven so very interesting that those first little bit of abilities or those first bit of bit of hero levels um you know gives you actually quite a bit again it has a very small effect just because it only affects you every fourth shot or so so very interesting uh thing that they've done here with revenants numbers that's his numbers let's take into let's look at some really interesting other numbers now my apologies for making this not look very nice uh it's been not that long and i've just been kind of rushing so revenant dps we're gonna look at attack speed without his scar attack speed with his scar crit without his scar and cr and crit with his scar just so we can kind of get an idea of um uh, of his damage so here's all his his stats uh right there for you to look at so damage versus attack speed 
how does attack speed actually work with him? Now, a big, big thing you have to understand here is that what I have done is I have taken from the very the time that you that you use your first basic attack to when you finish reloading. So four shots plus his reload, that amount of time, and I've averaged I've averaged the damage you've dealt across that time into a per second number. So this number here is damage per second over the time it takes for you to fire four shots and reload. That's the only way that I figured that I that, that, that I figured I, I could present this. So that is what this is. That is not it's a it's it's damage per second of a interval of time. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. Anyways, so this is it's basically just damage per second. It's damage per second. But it, it but you do have to remember that. So attack speed is here. Now let's see what does attack speed do with the damage department. Now we can take a look here. One CP of damage to one CP of attack speed. You can see here that um, attack speed is pretty darn poopy. Attack speed is pretty darn poopy, guys. Uh, it's it's a five percent DPS increase for every single CP you put into attack speed. It's pretty darn poopy uh, because you know, um, yeah. It doesn't apparently pay off really doesn't pay off and that doesn't surprise me because damage goes into his 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 fourth shot this is empowered and his scar scar we, we haven't even included in here so uh no surprise there if you go up to a normal carry build a 50 cp into all this stuff you can see here look at how the dps just plummets when you add attack speed if we add in his scar if we add in the fact that you've used your scar and then you get that empowered shots with damage and attack speed if we go down to a typical you know carry with 50 cp into into damage stats here we can see that uh again even with his scar attack speed is 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 terrible Five per, pretty much 5% DPS decrease per CP that you put into attack speed. Attack speed is poop. Attack speed is poop. So there you guys go. <laughs> it's really not worth it. Now we're going into damage and crit. Let's look at damage and crit without scar. We can see that all the way up to about here is when power is better than crit. However, around the 120 CP mark, uh, we can see that actually crit starts to become better. And it kind of goes, uh, it kind of goes around here, kind of goes down here. So looks like you need some power before going into crit on, on Revenant. But that's without his scar. That's without his scar. So what happens if we add his scar? Well, here is the trend, ladies and gentlemen. Damage to crit we can see that you need 180 power before crit becomes a dps increase and you can see that it is actually really uh interesting in that if you were to go for again a normal carry build 50 cp into damage stats we would see here that we're at 49 and 1 well actually the optimum the most efficient the highest dps most efficient a distribution of power and crit is actually 44% crit and 39 power 234 power and 44% crit chance so very interesting if you can squeeze out a few more CP into damage stats here and and do something like 53 into damage stats 767 DPS um, with 48% crit chance and 41 CP into power now I want to show you something though that's only 48% crit chance. So, a little wee bit of less than half of those four shots you're going to use before you reload will crit. That's just chances. Yes, sometimes all of them will crit, but sometimes none of them will crit. More likely, though, half. So, two out of your four shots are going to crit. That's not overly reliable to me. I don't find that's going to be overly reliable. I would rather crit three times but just for a little bit less. So let's say 
76% crit chance so that at least three of our shots, maybe even four, will most likely for sure crit. Now let's see what is the damage hit if we go and do such a thing. Hmm, not very much. Look at this, a 1% DPS decrease, a 1% DPS decrease to get 76% crit chance. I personally would do that. I would absolutely personally do that. Now, if you wanted to go for a 100% crit chance here, you would go all the way down to 737 DPS instead of 767. So that's a 5% decrease for a 100% crit chance, a 1% decrease for a 76% crit chance, and then of course 767 but for 48% crit chance. So in the build that you're going to see, I went for 76% crit chance for 760 DPS here with his basic attack with that empowered fourth shot and with Scar. That's very important to understand um, because Revenant's very different in his math. I've had to make a whole new sheet for him and all of this redo everything for him because he's so, so different. Now, what about penetration? Now, a few things before we get into penetration is you have to remember a couple things. His, all of his stuff is ability damage. The only thing that is not ability damage is his basic attack. The empowered fourth shot is ability damage. The uh, scar buff to your basic attack is ability damage and his obliterate is ability damage and the tiny little wee bit of uh, of damage from your ultimate is also ability damage. That's, but it's basically neg negligible, it's 60 at level three, so we're not even taking that into account. Since all three of those things are, 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 are ability damage, I was really interested in seeing what ability pen would do because it works on three of your abilities. So in terms of the basic pen part, which is really only affecting his basic attack, what does basic pen, basic pen look like? Well, if we are going to put in the target armor of a caster, if we're attacking a caster with 21, uh, with 21 basic pen at our basic armor at level 15, we can come down here and take a look at if we had 53 cp into into just power if we had 53 cp into just power for example this is just to prove the relationship between power and pen this is just to prove the relationship between power and pen we can take a look here at 52 cp of power and one into pen that it actually increases in dps take a look at here 344 to 357 against a caster so that is definitely a three about 3.5 percent increase in your dps if you take can if you eliminate a caster's penetra uh, armor now what happens if you went up against a fighter with their base you can see that it is still an increase almost six percent about seven percent six six seven percent dps increase on a on a fighter so basic pen even though you're taking away power that helps with his fourth shot and his scar it's still worth it i find that very very interesting so his basic attack does still end up being great one consideration though is that if you are going to be building crit you're not going to be having as much pcp into power so what if we go with our uh, with with what we established earlier and going into that seventy six percent crit chance, and how much power would that have? That's about that's about twenty eight CP into power um, at that point. So let's see what does what does Pen do here when we have that much power? Not much. You can see a basically negligible. Uh, it might even be just a rounding thing here on on Excel. You can see that when you have crit, when you're going for crit. Basic pen is not worth it. It's the effect is absolutely marginal um, against a caster. Against a fighter, it's probably going to hurt you, to be honest with you. And yes, it does indeed. So, basic pen is only worth it if you are going all power. If you're treating Revenant as a caster, if you're going all power, basic pen is absolutely worth it here. 3.5 and 6% increase uh, against it. 3.5 against a caster, 6% against a fighter. If you're going for crit, on Revenant basic pen, you just gotta forget about it. What about ability pen? 
I had to rework it again. And interestingly enough, he has a he has an a, a he has ability damage f part of his uh, of his DPS, right? His fourth his fourth shot and his and his scar um, is part of his basic attack sort of thing. So we can actually do a very interesting thing and have a and have a, a ability pen be focused be uh, sorry done in the DPS. So. I find this very interesting. Anyways, that's just me. So against a everybody that has 30.5 ability armor at level 15, what does ability pen DPS look like? Well, you can already see here, kind of gives it away. Ability pen is a DPS decrease. It's minus 15%. Um, if you want to, if if you want to, if you want to negate um, ability pen, if you're going for burst so again if you have 53 cp into power you can take a look here that uh you can see here that the dps decreases on the basic attack um simply because i guess the scar and that empowered fourth shot they want they just like power better they like power better power affects those those abilities better and as you can see here it's a significant decrease ability pen not great 15% DPS decrease if you want to negate 30 ability armor. Really not good. The effect here is 1%. Yeah, a little bit over 1% DPS decrease for every CP you put into ability pen. Not good. Uh, here's a little bit of a less. But again, if we go into the 28, again, if, if, if we're building crit, uh, what does this say? Ability pen, it still doesn't look good as you can see. It's just going down. So ability pen on Revenant in terms of his in terms of his basic attacks isn't good. Don't get ability pen in order to increase his DPS on on your basic attacks. It's just not going to work at all. What about though? What about his obliterate? Well, if, when we take a look into ob into his obliterate ability, we can see here that when you when you crunch the numbers here. His obliterate does indeed like ability pen. It really, really does like ability pen. As much as an 8.5% increase uh, when you go down here, you can see here that it goes up from 623 damage. Ugh! With a whole, with all, with an all-powered revenant build, 623 damage, all the way up to 679. With uh, you know, with mitigating all of that 30, um, 30 armor. So again, if you are down here. If you are down here though in building crit, you can see that it is almost marginal in that it goes up very, very slowly uh, to be 478 to 465. So about, what is that, barely 10, so about 2.5%. Uh, so but anywhere from 25 to 8.5% increases his obliterate. Is that worth it? I do not think so. Obliterate is just one of his abilities. He is a carry. Yes, he's an ability carry, but I mean... You're going to see in a moment here that I don't think that that is worth it. Now, another thing. So, ability pen, not worth it for, not worth it for, for Revenant. Attack speed, terrible on Revenant. Abil pe basic penetration, yes. Get 20 basic penetration and that will definitely help you. What about his burst numbers? This has been a project of mine for quite some time. I have yet to post the rest of the heroes that are that is within this spreadsheet, but we're focused on Revenant. So all of these numbers will include his Scar ability and his Empowered Fourth Shot. So we're trying to see how much damage does he do and when within the first five, six, seven second period. So between two builds. So this burst build, which is more of a power build and and this one over here is a crit build simply because we know attack speed is absolute garbage on him so power and crit build all power build and a crit build with 100 percent crit yes this is 100 percent crit uh just to see if it does work now we're going to assume that you use four of your shots followed by a reload or your scar four of your shots 
into a reload into four of your shots and then an obliterate to finish them off as they're trying to get away that's kind of be gonna be what we what the scenario we're trying to figure out yes you can have an empowered you can have an empowered fourth you could have a empowered fourth shot ready to go scar empowered fourth shot obliterate as you're reloading into four shots with this, just to see what the damage is in this situation. Now, like I said, we're going to have the scar happen. At, uh, so, well, first, let me explain this whole thing. This is his basic attack. This is the time that the ability hits a target. It's not when you start using it. It's when the actual round hits the enemy. And this is how much damage these the basic these are basic attacks hit for you can see that these are all empowered by your scar at level three while these are not simply because you don't have enough time to use your scar before because it's not a cooldown and it only empowers six shots this is all of his abilities that de that that deal damage this is the t equals zero because that's when we use scar doesn't deal any damage in itself and then the obliterate the time that we actually use obliterate and its damage so you can see that, you know, you use your scar into one, two, three, four basic attacks, followed by a reload, followed by here, these four shots, these, the next four basic attacks into a ability here, your obliterate that deals this much damage, 796 on all power uh, revenant, and this 544 um, uh, damage on this crit revenant with only 22 cp of power so the easy part about this is that 25 uh cp of crit does equal 100 percent crit chance so we know that all of these basic attacks crit which makes it very nice and easy if we go down here this is where it's revealed we have the total damage happening at these times here you can see that the power these are just kind of copied down here to make it easier to understand at the 1.05 second mark power the power build has done 346 damage and the crit 452 the 1.55 second mark power build has done 693 the crit 905 i think you get the idea to so that you can see how much the crit build over the power has done Crit versus power 106, the crit build wins out. 212, the crit build wins out all the way up to 656 damage at the 555 mark. And then this is actually when the obliterate happens. So then the burst kind of kicks up, uh, kicks it up, and it kind of reduces the gap a little bit to 400. So crit is inherently a little bit, well, just deals more damage. As you can see here, it deals just way more damage. In a 5.5 second mark, you're dealing 650 more damage. Unbelievable. So unfortunately, power, there's really no place for power. Um, as uh, well, an all power build. As you know what, crit, crit's gonna beat out uh, power any day. Now, there is the empowered fourth into your obliterate while you're reloading into that. Uh, but that is seemingly not, um, that is not preferable. That is not preferable in my little time um, playing with him. Yes, I'm kind of recording this after um, after I've, I, I, I've done the rest of the video, uh, but I don't think that is viable. So as you can see, crit, crit wins out in every situation. Now, very quickly here, one amazing card that you might think is fantastic on him due to his incredibly fast rate of attack is Trader's Touch. 3% of target's current health is damaged per shot. So two times a second. Basically, it's 6% of the target's health every second that you're eliminating. Unfortunately, though, taking the taking the CP's, uh, you know, paying for, paying for Trader's Touch is taking away from power. And power, it looks like, has just such a great effect on his scar on his um, um on his fourth shot that it seem it doesn't seem like it's worth it's worth it on a tank here you can see traitor's touch is dealing 78 damage whereas otherwise that 6 cp would have been doing 43 but unfortunately on a caster you're actually at a deficit uh po power would be dealing more than 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 traitor's touch on a ranger uh, again the power just not buying traitor's touch and going for the power instead and uh, on a fighter you can see just barely worth it but a very very much not so very soon so unfortunately traitor's touch not worth it 